hello students of the ccs academy today i am going to in this first video i am going to present you the first chapter of your physical chemistry that is solution before starting uh, this chapter some briefing as you know is always required ki why we study this chapter what we will get after reading this chapter i will show you later every aspect of this chapter but uh, one thing which uh, i am going to tell you which is very interesting that there is a parallel board uh, parallel to the cbsc that is icsc board everybody knows every student knows that there is icsc board in icsc board this chapter is not named as solution it is named there as a uh, molecular masses or relative molecular masses so you guys can ask you why the icsc board is uh, naming this chapter as a relative molecular masses or molecular masses not the solution the name of this chapter Uh, today you can't get the answer of this chapter at the end of this chapter definitely you will get the answer why we name this chapter as a solution okay students you can say that then who which name is better one the relative molecular masses according to icsc is the better name or the solution is the better name this question i am going to put in your mind and at the end you got yourself the answer since i am going to represent the cbsc and i ncert so i am going to defend it according to me according to myself also if you ask to personally ki according to you what is the best name of this chapter solution is the best name you will get this answer at the end today you can't get this uh, after after getting this chapter uh, finish you will get the answer of some very interesting questions so why we use the pressure cooker during the cooking as you have seen so many times your mother when uh, while she was cooking she uses pressure cooker why you will get this answer why it is difficult to um, make cook on the higher altitudes you will also get the answer of this interesting question mathematically as well as with the help of heading of this chapter but today you can't get the answer uh, all the answer will be uh, understandable to you when you will get the end of this chapter today according to ncert according to your syllabus the first chapter is solution of physical chemistry so this is the name of the chapter as well as the first heading of your chapter first heading according to notes which i will show you later is solution what is solution solution are the homogeneous mixture of two or more than two substances what is homogeneous means homogeneous means something suppose you want to add salt in water what will happen happen after some time salt will dissolve and there would be no difference between water and salt this is homogeneous there is no difference there is no seen boundary between salt is there and water is there suppose at the same time i am going to dissolve try to dissolve sand in water what will happen is there any visible boundary definitely because if you start dissolving it will not dissolve it is insoluble you will see the difference there is a salt sorry i am saying there is a sand and there is a water so this is homogeneous no it is not homogeneous that is actually heterogeneous there is a distinct boundary between sand and the water okay i hope you got, you students have got what is the exact definition of solution some guys told you solution is something which is made of solvent and solute this is not the correct definition according to science what is the correct definition i am going to tell you i told you in my lecture and i will show you in the video as well as in the notes now you have solution in solution there are so many components which one is excess is known as solvent suppose there is a water and salt which one is excess suppose water is excess then water is solvent and another one is salt again uh, i am going to tell you there are different types of solution different types of solution gaseous solution liquid solution solid solutions but i am not going to follow the each and every heading in the same sequence as is present in the ncert first i will tell you solution then i will go vapor pressure then i will go raoult's law then i will i will go colligative properties henry's laws abnormal normal molecular masses and i will start types of solution you can ask me why you are doing this at the end you will get this answer also but i am not going to follow the sequence of the ncert i am going to follow all the headings of the ncert okay so we have solution definition i hope you guys have understand it is the homogeneous mixture of two or more than two substances but in this chapter 
most in the most part i will use the binary solution what are binary solution binary solution is something which consists of only two components what are two components one is solvent which is in excess i told you earlier and another one is solute so guys you can ask is it possible that there are some not binary solution there are some solutions which are not binary definitely suppose i am going to add salt as well as sugar both in water then how many components are there one component is water another component is salt and another component is sugar so we have three components more than two definitely it's not the binary solution but still it is a solution because it is a homogeneous mixture so i hope guys you got this two words solution first heading of this chapter solution and as well as the subheading binary solutions okay further one thing i am going to remind you in all the headings solvent will be mentioned as either a or one if solvent is represented as measured as a then the solutes would be measured as b and c and so on if the solvent is measured as one then solute would be measured at 2 3 and so on okay clear so further in notes you will see either i am using abc in um, formulas i am or i am using 1 2 3 so we have completed your first heading of your first chapter that is solution and binary solutions now come to the next next heading would be the vapor pressure of the liquid what is vapor pressure of the liquid you can ask to me everybody knows what is vapor pressure but i am going to tell you one more thing why we will study vapor pressure after studying the vapor pressure you would be able to understand raoult's law colligative properties which i told you in the start of the lecture that this heading will come okay so there to understand all the that properties that interesting properties first you should have the deep knowledge of vapor pressure vapor pressure is what vapor pressure is the pressure exerted by the vapors of the liquid above its surface at a particular temperature okay this is a simple definition it is represented by p since it is it is a pressure its units will be same as you know from physics okay so we have two headings first heading i told you our second heading is vapor pressure and its subheading is also vapor pressure depends on which factors there are three factors surface area of the liquid as well as the temperature of the liquid as well as the nature of the liquid okay student vapor pressure definition is clear to you the along figure i will show you in the notes and further its factors there are three factors surface area nature of liquid and the temperature of the liquid so i am going to explain one by one okay student and further i am going to show you what i have already explained to you in my lecture through the notes okay guys okay student in this video it is the attached video of the video one where i was discussing the solution chapter you are not able to see my face but you are going to see the notes of concern notes of the lecture i have already told you solution look at there there is a chapter 1 solution page number 1 i told you the chapter name is solution as well as the first heading is solution i told you solutions are those homogeneous mixture the word most important is homogeneous i told you in my lecture from where you can understand what is homogeneous if you could hear that thing and you can connect with this mixture of two or more than two substances the substances in large quantity i told you are known as solvent and others are known as solute okay further i uh, going to tell you binary solution in notes binary solution i told you in the lecture video lecture uh, of my uh, through my face and now i am going to explain the same thing with the notes that would be uh, more important for you for your future for your exam which is going to conduct by cbsc next year are those which contain only two components one is solvent and other would be solute okay binary solution contains only two components i told you other now i'm going to shift to the page number 2 in page number 2 what you see you see the vapor pressure 
second heading you can look at page number two vapor pressure i told you in the uh, lecture also uh, that is going to come in the notes as well vapor pressure of the liquid okay there you can see a container close one it is your figure number one there's a liquid maybe water maybe other liquid like benzene at surface some molecules have more energy you know that due to surface tension surface energy in physics they are going to change into the vapor what is vapor it is a kind of gas students so this gas molecules apply force and you know force per unit area is your pressure so this vapor creating vapor pressure which is the second heading of your chapter so i'm going to read one more time i'm going to read this one it is the pressure exerted by the vapor pressure of the liquid above its surface at a particular temperature okay guys you can see in this two pages one is your solution binary solutions and in the page number two as i told you in my lecture in first video this is also a part of first video uh, yes you can connect with the notes which is useful to you that's why i'm going to give the notes also second one is vapor pressure of the liquid there's a container on surface due to more energy surface molecules get changed to gas this is also vapor creates force upon area is a pressure okay so this video one explained you what is solution what is the need of solution what is the name of this chapter in icsc board i told you in i've already told you and if you ask uh, what is first heading solution binary solution second heading vapor pressure of the liquid and in the next video which will be your second video of chapter one solution you would see factors affecting vapor pressure of it so now i'm going to finish this video number one okay student good day